All right, today I have the DJI Air 2S. It has a couple autopilot modes. I'm going to test out, see if it could uh, practically fly itself. You know, see if I can do maybe donuts in this car or just drive around and see how well it will follow me without me interfering with the controls. Could the drone act as another camera person? So I'm gonna put the M3 in the center of the road here. It is so cool to watch. Let's see if we can get the drone to circle it. I wonder if I just, there you go, okay. So now I've locked the target. I'm gonna hit record. Let's do POI and hit go. Now the drone is circling, it's tracking the car. can recognize it. You can change the speed of it. It's pretty cool there, slow it down. Alright, I'm gonna start driving and see what happens here. Let's see if it can actually track me. It seems like it's doing a pretty good job, actually. If I go this way, it's actually kind of going with me. That is super cool. If I go this way, let's see if it'll come back with me. It is doing very, very well. drive at it, see how it handles that. Not bad drones, not bad. Alright, so let's do that again. I'm gonna bring it in a little closer, so I'm gonna hit stop. Alright, so now what I'm gonna try to do is like a third person video game style camera. Let's see how this goes. So I've got the car locked. Okay, so, so what this one is... The drone stays in one spot, but it just looks at the car, so it follows it. I am not touching the controls. The drone is doing that all on its own. The control, or the, uh, the drone is able to follow me without me interfering with it. I'm gonna drive right up to it and see how that does. There it is. I wonder if, if I hit forward on the stick, if it can, if it'll like follow me. It's doing very, very well, actually. All I'm doing is hitting forward on the joystick. And it is following me. That is really, really cool. Let's do a little direction change here. Tight turn, see what it does. Not bad, not bad. Alright, now I'm gonna try and do what it was trying to do. I'm gonna put it right behind the car. Let's go sideways a little bit here. Get a little bit closer. I'm gonna see if it can actually follow the car. So it's not going, so I need to go higher, I think. So now it's on trace, uh, which is what I was gonna try to do earlier. We'll see if it'll follow the car. If it'll actually fly. Which it is working. So, 
let's try uh, let's try a donut. Let's see how it does if I do some donuts. Here we go. Make sure the controller doesn't fall. Still watching me, still following me. Still going. I'm gonna try and go this way. See if I can trip it up. I'm gonna go right. kept up with me. Alright, it's letting me know that the battery is low, so I do need to replace the battery. Okay. Now it is uh, landing itself. Um, I am not controlling it. It let me know that the battery was dying, and it is, you know, let me confirm to go ahead and land it. There weren't any obstacles, that kind of thing. And it brought it right back to where I actually took it off from the car. So that's kind of cool. set this camera up so you all can see. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get some altitude with the drone. I'm going to go active track and I'm going to go trace and then go. Uh, the drone should follow me. going 15 miles an hour. Drone did not need any interference yet. Let's try up it up to 20. All right, this is now 20 miles an hour. The drone is having no problem keeping up. Let's take it up to 30. Drone is following me at 30. This is pretty awesome. Coming up to a stop sign. Uh, again, I am not interfering with the drone. The drone is flying itself right now. Uh, as you can see, no hands. Um, this is 25. See how fast I can go before it gives up. I'm at 40 right now. It doesn't seem to be able to keep up with me, but it is still tracking me. But it does make for a very cool shot. Now I'm gonna slow down, see if it can catch up. It seems like it's having a problem, so. It's getting a little close to the power lines for me. So it has caught up with me, here we go. Oh, it It doesn't seem to like much over 20 um, when trying to track me. I believe the drone can fly faster than that, but if you drive faster than that and you got it on autopilot, it does not quite keep up. So here's some corners here. Let's see how it does. I'm actually going to drive a little aggressively. I right, just took it up to 50. Uh, the drone seems to be doing good and keeping up with me. Um, I wonder how it will do with the bridges. So there's some trees here. Uh, I believe it might struggle with the bridges. I don't know if it can see them. Do I dare test that? Why not, right? I'm gonna drop the altitude. Let's see how this, let's just drop the altitude a little bit as low as it'll let me. 
hopefully to uh, where the where it won't hit the bridge. I think that that should be low enough. Let's try it. Well, it's definitely nerve wracking. Is it under the bridge? Or is it gonna hit the bridge? I can't tell. Woo! It is under the bridge, very close to the bridge, but it is under it. We're gonna keep going. I wonder if it will be able to track me through here. I'm gonna up the altitude just a hair. Cause I'm getting a little nervous with the tree. All right, it has appeared to have lost me in the trees. So, um, let me get around the tree and then I'm going to re-pick up the drone with the controller. Uh, and help it find me. It's only doing it visually. So if you, if it loses sight of you, um, it is doing pretty well at predicting where I'm going, but if it loses sight of you for long enough and you change directions, it will lose you. So I'm gonna drive kinda normal now. I'm gonna go, you know, like the speed limit. Oh, that's a hole. We'll see how it does if I don't interfere with it the whole way back to the shop. You can do some very cool shots with this and not have to worry too much about it. Like right now, the drone is following me all on its own. Um, I doubt that the sensors will be able to pick up a power line. So I would be careful with that. It's a pole right there, it's going for the pole. Will it stop? No, woo! That was sketchy. It did not hit the pole though, good drone. Um, now the bridges, I think it is too high for the bridges. Let's see if it crashes. Uh, it is doing okay. I think I can be a little more confident here. I, I'm gonna go ahead and just drive kind of normal. The drone is doing good. So. I feel like one of these times I'm going to look over and it's crashed. It's flying itself right now. Now, it wouldn't do, unfortunately, what I wanted it to. Oh god, power lines, how's it going to do? <gasps> oh my god! It flew through the power line. That was close. All right, it can't see power lines. That confirms that, it cannot see power lines. Oh my God. I, I thought it was going down right there. I thought that was it. <laughs> All right, the rest should be fairly clear. I'm gonna go ahead and go the speed limit. Um, and to see if this thing can catch up or keep up without me worrying too much, um, all the way up to the turn. So it is not keeping up with me. Um, that is one thing, for sure. But it is still tracking me. Um, it still sees me. Uh, I'm about to get to my turn, it has not lost me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn here. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna see if it can catch me and follow me. Uh, it is kinda... So it went to where it lost me. Uh, so I do have to interfere with it and tell it where I am. So you do have to pay attention a little bit to it. I got it. It was relatively easy to get it back into, whoops, into tracking. Uh, let's come back to this parking lot here. See what happens actually if I drive up to it. I'm gonna drive towards it. I'm gonna keep driving towards it. Let's just see what it does. That guy looked happy, didn't he? Let's 
go do this cul-de-sac here. I wonder if I can... Uh, I'm gonna leave it because I don't want it to hit power lines. I already <laughs> got pretty close to one. My car is rubbing. very long. Uh, it, it dies in considerably less time than it would if you were doing some normal shots. Um, this thing's I think only been up in the air for it looks like 16 minutes. Now that I'm parked though, it's estimated time is actually going up. So I'm gonna go ahead and land it. I'm gonna land it right there. Let me know if you want to see more tests like this on my, my equipment and what I use. Um, I actually had a lot of fun making this video, so let me know what you thought in the comments. You know, for the most part, it did, it did pretty good without me having to interfere too much. I could drive around, I could do donuts, and it followed me. I'm gonna play with it a little bit more because I was hoping to be able to get that third person video game style, but it looks like you have to manually fly it for that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.